what's going on guys welcome back to this video today we're doing try hack me and we're going to carry over with the red teaming pathway so so far so forth we have finished the first module which is red team fundamentals today's video we're going to start with initial access and specifically we're going to do red team reconnaissance so basically here in this task i will divide the task into or the room into two videos in this video we're going to talk about the first five tasks and the upcoming video we're going to dedicate dedicate it alone for using multigo and recon ng as prominent tools for performing reconnaissance now first let's talk about the concept of reconnaissance so basically here a red team performs reconnaissance as a first step in a red team engagement or also as part of a pen testing engagement so basically you should get yourself familiar with two terms the passive reconnaissance and the active reconnaissance so in passive reconnaissance we don't actually communicate with the target that's why it's called passive right we don't uh, communicate with the target we don't send end map scans we don't send banners we just gather information active reconnaissance is collecting information by interacting with the target just as uh, just uh, for example such as nmap so in nmap we launch a scan against the target to gather information it's a form of reconnaissance but it, using nmap entails we are interacting with the target now passive reconnaissance example could be using google or publicly available information to gather information we're going to touch on tools that can be used to perform passive reconnaissance as you can see there are two types of active reconnaissance the external and internal the external is when you reside outside the target network for example if you are doing pen testing for a client of yours uh, an external reconnaissance will uh, uh, means that you will perform the reconnaissance when you are disconnected from the network you will be connected to the public internet outside the network internal reconnaissance is when you connect to the network by being physically on site or by using a vpn so Let's now talk about the built-in tools that can be used for active reconnaissance. So basically, before I show you guys the tasks, so basically here I have these uh, commands in this sheet. So basically, to perform reconnaissance, we get to start with DNS. So we perform DNS enumeration. We gather information about the domains, the subdomains, DNS records, uh, in addition to email addresses. There are multiple tools to achieve this purpose. One of them is NS look up so so with ns lookup we can gather information about the dns records or we can query specific dns records by uh, declaring the type if we say ns lookup dash type equal mx and the domain target we will gather information about this type of dns records in the target so generally we can say dash type equal and specify the dns records could be a could be fourth a's could be mx could be text records so on and so forth. Let's take an example. So this is the Docker machine. NS look up. And the domain example here was let's scroll down to the questions. So thm red team dot com. Thm red team dot com. So here we are asking this server. Okay to get us information about THM Red Team. As you can see, we don't have answer because this server doesn't have information about THM Red Team. So in case the DNS server we are connected to doesn't have information about the domain, it's going to give you non-authoritative answer and you cannot find the information. There is no answer. Um, if you ask, say, Google, as you can see here, we get answer from the DNS server about the IP addresses, as you can see the Google uses. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six addresses Google is using, IPv4, and we have one, two, three, four, four IPv6 addresses. So is the domain right? THM redteam.com, yes. I was just saying, maybe the domain, I typed the domain wrong, okay. So as you can see in this lookup, this query gives us information about how many IPs the server is using. And now it disconnected. 
Okay, so the machine disconnected. I just turned it on again. Okay, so let's go back to the output of NS Lookup. And let's try this domain cafe.thm red team.com. Again, guys, as you can see, we get the IP addresses the domain is using. We have two IPv4 and two IPv6. Now, if you want to apply this, if you want to ask about specific record, we can definitely try that. So, type equal mx dash type equal, let's say, text records. Uh, and we don't have information about a text records. If we ask about Google, definitely it should have text records. As you can see, we get the text records of google.com. Now, this information are tremendously important when you are doing active recon uh, passive reconnaissance. As you can see, this is a form of passive reconnaissance. We are not interacting with the target. We are relying on public information. Who is database, D public DNS records. All of these uh, are considered public information. Now, additionally, there is another tool called DIG. So DIG can also be used to extract DNS records from public records. For example, if you try DIG on thmredteam.com, as you can see, we get all there is publicly available information about THM Red Team. For example, let's see here. Um, question section. If we ask about a record, let's say, as you can see, let's see here. This is the host name. But we don't didn't get the IP address. Let's see, maybe it wasn't the intended domain we should ask. Um, so built-in tools. So we can ask about this domain, cafe.redteam. So we go back and we say cafe. And as you can see here, guys, we get the information about this subdomain. As you can see, we get the A records as specified in the query. Now we can also specify that we want to get all records. So what we can do here, we can specify the any switch. So again, and we type any, and we get all public available information. For example, as you can see, the A records and the fourth A records. Additionally, guys, we can ask specific name servers about a specific domain. For example, if you want to ask a public a server like Cloudflare, you can specify the server like that, at and the name server. This will query Cloudflare for the DNS records of CAFE. As you can see, we get that CAFE has two IP addresses. We can get, as you can see, guys, we got similar output to what, we, uh, what was shown here using uh, NSLOOKUP because both tools NSLOOKUP, DIG, WHOIS also we can type WHOIS cafe.thmredteam.com this will get us information about the, the regi domain registration now in case this one doesn't have let's run the query again but against THM Red Team. as you can see this will get you guys the information about the domain, the registration date, who created the domain. Sometimes it comes with additional information like names, email addresses, depends on the privacy settings of the domain name. Now you might be telling me that we can enable privacy, secure a privacy feature on a domain and hide uh, the author information. That's correct. Unless you are subscribed to who is premium, which will enable you to inspect the what's called the history of the domain before enabling the privacy and after enabling the privacy. All of these information are stored in the WHOIS public database. So even if you enabled privacy on the domain, your information or the registration information that were publicly available before you enable privacy will be retrievable using WHOIS history feature, review history feature. This is a premium service. Um, so let's now answer the questions. When was THM Red Team created? So again, guys, domain information can be extracted 
from let's go up so it was created on 2021 24 24 september to how many ipv4 addresses does clinic dhm red team resolve <coughs> again here we want to retrieve the dns records of a specific domain we can use ns lookup we can use dig so dig let's say let's use dig here and say clinic dhm red team.com and say any everything so it resolves this is the question here to how many ipv4 dhm red team resolves so clinic dhm red team resolves here so it's not clear here using dig let's try to yes specify the record using a as you can see we grab the ip addresses of these post subdomains so we have two to how many ipv6 addresses now ipv6 here are not shown so we're gonna have to use another tool ns look up clinic .dhm red team .com. indeed we have two ipv6 addresses now these are the command line tools what about online tools online tools we have view dns.info and the most prominent feature as you can see here is reverse ip lookup which will tell you what are the uh, other ip addresses or other domains hosted within that ip address because so many times you have a website hosted somewhere and it is a shared hosting shared hosting means you have many websites using the same ip address to find out you can run a test on a website the test here was let's see the test laid down by try hack me so there was a domain name not here yeah and this was conducted on this domain let's take this and perform reverse ip lookup and the output shows you there are many domains which means that the ip address here these ip addresses that resolve to cafe also resolve to other domains which means a single ip address sometimes cannot indicate uh, uh, an exclusive point or reference to a website or domain because that ip address might be pointing to more than one domain because it's a shared hosting this is an example of shared hosting one ip address and multiple domains let's see my website perform reverse ip lookup of my website as you can see one ip address and one domain which means that i have a dedicated hosting for my or dedicated machine for my uh, my website and the evidence is as that as you can see this ip address resolves only to one domain that's reverse ip lookup you can also take a look at the other tools that you can use to perform or retrieve uh, dns records or uh, public information about the website as you can see i have port scanner who is Chinese firewall test reverse MX lookup. So all of the output that we got using command line tools, we can also retrieve the same using view DNS. Another tool was threat in our threat intelligence tools. Threat intelligence tools not only retrieve uh, public uh, that information from the Whois database and DNS records, but it also comes with additional context like um, the trust level, the spam level. Um, this will perform malware scan sometimes. Let's type my domain name as a test. <coughs> Stairs. Okay. As you can see, guys. <coughs> performed a quick malware scan and they have no malware on my website let's scroll down as you can see we have visual interface or visual output main infrastructure service as you can see it shows you guys where is my website hosted it is hosted in google servers and there is one mx record that points to gmail connected domains the links that I have inside my page. As you can see, my page has outgoing links to YouTube, 
Facebook, Twitter. These are the links I use inside the website when I create content. Website analysis. Here we can see the URL is parsed, the components, the programming components, potentially dangerous content. Now this, as you can see, another scan it performs to the links you actually create to files. It just checks if you have executable files or malicious executable files or other forms of, ex of malicious files that you create links to or that you have created links to inside your, your website. SSL, as you can see, I have SSL certificate. Malware detection, I have no malware in my website. And other information. As you can see, it's a complete list of all information that we seek to have or to seek to collect during a passive reconnaissance. So threat intelligence platforms are way ahead than DNS tools. Now let's talk about another source of grabbing information. So, so far, so far we talked about reconnaissance, specifically passive reconnaissance, how to gather passive reconnaissance, how to gather information using passive reconnaissance. We have went over command line tools to retrieve DNS information or DNS records. We've also uh, gone through or covered online tools or GUI tools. Uh, of course, in the next videos, we're going to cover Recon NG and Multigo. But now let's turn heads towards another public tool to gather information, which is Google. So there is something called Google Dorks. So Google Dorks are syntaxes and queries we can use, guys, to retrieve advanced information. They are advanced queries to retrieve information about websites. For example, we can retrieve, as you can see, we talked. I talked about Google Docs in previous videos, but it doesn't harm to just give it another brief look. For example, <coughs> we can perform site search. If we did, if we do sitegoogle.com, it will retrieve all the links that contains google.com in the URL. If we perform this query here or search sitegoogle.com careers, it will retrieve all the links that contain google.com along with the word careers. We can also perform file type or file search to retrieve um, uh, files, specific files on Google, PDF files, Excel files, database files, config files. There's a whole slew of tools you can, uh, sorry, results you can grab using uh, Google Docs. Have a look at Google Docs, guys. If you have the sheet here, if you are part of my channel membership, you, you, you will be able to access this. If you don't have, Let's go over the tasks here and see the questions. So how would you search using Google for XLS files, index for this domain? So here we want to search for Excel files hosted on this domain. So we have to use two operators here, the file type for the file and the site operator for the domain. So this will become like this. Make sure to put space between every operator. So the first operator is file type followed by colon and the file type we were looking for, it's Excel. Then we have space, and then the other operator concerns the domain name or the yeah, domain name. So site, colon, and the site and the website name. How would you search using Google for files with the word passwords for this domain? So you have three parts. The first part is the domain. To search for uh, results concerning this domain, we're gonna use the site operator. Now for the password, we want to list all the pages that contain the word passwords, so we'll just use the word passwords. Now, other than Google, there are, there are other search engines such as Shodan. I have covered Shodan in the previous videos, guys. You can, uh, I'm gonna put the link in the video description so you can get back to it. So that was a brief about passive reconnaissance, how to perform passive reconnaissance. So you have now command line tools, you have online tools, and lastly, you have search engines. Now, in the next video, we're going to narrow down the explanation and take a look at Recon NG and Maltico as uh, comprehensive tools or holistic tools to perform passive and active reconnaissance. So that was it, guys, for today. I hope you liked the video, and I'm going to see you later.